Over the past two years, we've been working on a variety of exciting projects, and today we would like to share a few of the things that are going on in Paraguay, thanks to the support of wonderful people such as yourselves. The national mission of the church here in Paraguay is focused on two key areas, evangelism and church planning, as well as discipleship and leadership training. As missionaries, our desire is to assist in that mission, and through the administration and development of various projects, we seek to advance that mission forward. Over the years, with the help of many people, we have been able to build up ministry opportunities to help reach that goal. The initial project that brought us here 29 years ago was the Promised Land Campgrounds. This is a 13.8 acre property with all the necessary infrastructure to hold up to 150 to 200 people and host church camps, conferences, conventions, and other activities on our church's calendar. Aside from the use of our own church, the camp is also rented out to a multitude of other denominations and organizations, and has been a blessing to thousands of people that have passed through it. If you've ever visited us here in Paraguay, you probably stayed at the campgrounds. These facilities also serve as the base of operations for all missions teams that come down to take part in the different projects and ministry opportunities. It is a beautiful and peaceful place to enjoy fellowship and seek God. This year, we are also able to finish on the, on the camp property, our local church building that seeks to reach people from the surrounding communities. Over the last several years, another project has been in development. And this year, we were able to open the doors and receive our first temporary residence at the Living Waters University Student Dorm. The dorm was built to house up to 120 students on a full-time basis during the school year with a focus on evangelism and discipleship. In the center of the facility is a cafeteria in which one of our local churches uses for their church services each week. Our prayer is that as the multitude of university students come through our, those doors, we will have opportunities to reach them with the Word of God. Continuing our efforts to evangelize, Transport for Christ is an evangelism ministry focused on reaching truck drivers. Here in Paraguay, transport trucks will line up, sometimes for days at a time, waiting their turn to unload at the port. Profiting this opportunity, Transport for Christ equips evangelists such as Fabio here to go and minister to them. Fabio has shared many testimonies of truck drivers that have given their lives to Jesus through this effort. Our prayer is that by winning a truck driver, he will in turn take the message back to his family and community. Being a third world country, there are many people who live in poverty and in precarious living situations. Over the past several years, we've had the opportunity to provide a fresh start and a, and a hope to many of these families. The housing project has been able to provide a secure structure for families in need. It is such a privilege to be a part of giving hope to these families. To give an example, this is Belen, she's 16 years old. She was recommended by one of her teachers as a family that could use some help. She lives with her mom and sister and were abandoned by the dad, living in a one-room house with a roof that leaked all over. We repaired her roof, added a new hallway, a bedroom, and a bathroom. We ran about 150 feet of water line to the house and hooked up their new bathroom. This is the first time that they have ever had a bathroom with indoor plumbing. Another lady, who is currently attending our local church, also named Belen, was living with her two boys in a very poor structure made of whatever they could find, coconut trunks, plastic bags, and other scraps. Her father and grandfather lived in a similar structure beside her with an open wall. We built one house for Belen and her kids and another house for her father and grandfather. We built a separate bathroom between the two so that all of them can use it. Then we ran about a thousand feet of water line and hooked it up to the community water system and then hooked it up to their bathroom. She told us that it was also the first time in her life that she had running water at her house and the first time that she ever had a bathroom. Countless families such as these have been blessed through the support of people such as yourselves. In total, 51 houses have been built so far and many more to come. As Christians, we have been called to share God's love with the world. Our family has been called to Paraguay, South America, but wherever God calls you, even in your own hometown, that mission can be fulfilled through each one of us. Continuing with the mission to evangelize and disciple, last year we were able to host the first mission school, in which around 30 youth and young adults from Canada and Paraguay, for a period of about two weeks, were able to learn important and practical teachings 
and were able to go out and outreach to several communities, visiting schools, communities, helping local churches, building a roof for a children's dining hall, and several other projects. And this was the first of many to come. Our hope with our mission schools is to provide unique on-site practical training for young adults to raise up the next generation of miss missionaries to wherever God may call them. We are preparing to launch another two-week mission school as well as a three-month mission school in the coming year. As the National Youth and Young Adults Director, I also have the privilege of serving local churches and leaders by organizing and leading leadership conferences, workshops, youth conventions, youth camp, and discipleship training. Fo following our national church's mission, I seek to develop strategies, resources, and opportunities to equip this generation to love God and love others. Our mission consists of equipping leaders to help youth know God, grow in their faith, and to be a part of sharing in Jesus' ministry of reaching others. Recently, I have launched the first couple of discipleship materials that will be used all over South America. Partnering with one of the leaders from Peru and another from Colombia, we have launched a South American support network for adolescent ministry. All national youth leaders and several local leaders have now joined the project to create an arsenal of resources, materials, leadership training, and other useful tools. Our hope is that youth ministries across South America will be equipped with the tools and training they need to effectively reach and raise up youth. Miller Missions would not be possible without the support of incredible people such as yourselves. So I would just like to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who has been part of the ministry over the years. By being part of the missions teams throughout the years, through financial support, and through your prayers. Our prayer moving forward is to continue to do what God has called us to do here in Paraguay, and we are excited to see where God takes each one of these projects next. Thank you for watching this presentation, and please remember to keep the Miller family in your prayers. We love you guys. God bless.